Today I'd like to do a short presentation on a flute that I received actually just yesterday. This is a, a very typical style of flute that we see from the mid to late 19th century in Germany. Um, the sort of telltale signs of it are made of boxwood and with uh, black horn rings, usually brass keys. Uh, usually not very many brass keys. In this case, there are four keys. So B flat, G sharp, F, and D sharp. Uh, one thing that's unusual about this flute is that it comes with three different middle joints for playing at different pitches, roughly uh, with a range about A430 to around A440. Uh, the flute works substantially better with the longest joint. The other, other two joints are not so true in terms of the acoustics of the bore. This flute has an interesting history. It came in a cardboard box, uh, which you can see on the screen, and that was, would have been the box that it was sold in um, originally. In the bottom of the box is a piece of sort of tissue paper that's kind of folded over. It would have been sort of part of the wrapping. And I was looking at that last night trying to figure out because it has words on it. And it turns out that this flute was sold by the uh, E.R. Hall Company, which was a very large department store in Cleveland um, beginning around 1870. So this was a flute that anybody could go into the department store and buy. Um, it wasn't a fancy flute. It was uh, really a very, a very basic flute. If you went to a music store, you could, you could buy eight key flutes and flutes with tuning slides and things like that. So you didn't need the, the extra joints. Uh, but in fact, uh, this flute plays really quite well. I was surprised because I have other flutes in this style that don't play so well, or, or at least they have a lot of peculiarities to them, like certain fingerings that work and others that don't. This flute plays really, really quite easily. I chose to play a piece that I haven't done before, which is from a collection called Der Dilettante. And this was published in Germany in 1835. It um, has hundreds of pieces. That it was something that was issued every month um, in issues. And um, it has uh, a lot of German composers. Uh, we have uh, A.B. Furstenau, the super famous uh, virtuoso flutist. We also find pieces by some French composers, Drouet, for instance, uh, who was also popular abroad. And this piece is written by Francois Furstenau. And we know nothing about Francois Furstenau. There actually are more pieces in this collection by him than by any other single composer. So it's, it's a little bit unusual, but it's quite a nice piece. It is not nearly as virtuoso as what A.B. Furstenau would have written, uh, which allowed me to learn it yesterday and play it today. So this is called uh, Introduction et Variation sur la cavatine de Meyerbeer. Uh, so it's uh, a theme and variations from, from a song by Meyerbeer. Um, it has a largo opening and then a theme and then two variations and a finale. They're all quite short. 